Welcome back. We're going off the grid now to Uganda, where women have been protesting in some big numbers. What's it all about, Rahila? Well, in recent months, Kamal, several women in Uganda have been abducted. People are concerned and are blaming the police for a slow response. They're demanding justice for their loved ones and saying enough is enough. Well, activists from the Women's Protest Working Group have signed a petition stating, since May 27th, 27 bodies of Ugandan women have been discovered naked, mutilated, strangled and sexually violated. They're calling on security services to protect law and order, treat the deaths of these women as a national security threat, and also to conduct a conclusive investigation into the kidnappings. Well, protesters marched to Kampala's police headquarters to deliver that letter, chanting, we are women, don't rape us. And they demanded a meeting with the police chief. I gave birth to the policemen. Mm. I'm a mother, I'm your wife, I'm your lover. The women that are kidnapped are your mothers, your wives, your sweethearts, the sex workers who sell you sex, your daughters, your granddaughters. I come for the sake of those women. But instead of meeting with the police chief, they were met by anti-riot police. And there are reports now that some protesters were detained, three women and four men. We heard from Kaneri Mugume, a journalist at the scene. He has not spent even 100 days in office and therefore it is upon him to create a difference between himself and his former boss who was sacked just a, a few months ago. And therefore he should have at least created an impression that he actually listens and he's professional. Uh, bringing uh, counter-terrorism police and anti-riot police on the spotlight right here to block women from meeting him was very, very unnecessary. Well, the police chief did respond on Twitter saying that he was willing to meet the group on a date and time to be determined by the organizers and his PA. While it's caused a lot of outrage online, the hashtag Women's Lives Matter UG is being shared widely and growing, along with the campaign called End the Kidnapping. While Trisha says that a year of no justice for the victims, a year of no concrete measures taken by police, a year of women being unsafe everywhere, in this country. And then you have Nyalu who adds, what a betrayal of trust by the Uganda police to have our legal counsel enter their headquarters under the premise of having a meeting only to arrest them. While well, human rights groups have condemned the police action. Over the last year, there's been what appears to be an increase in the murder of women. There have been some high-profile high cases of women from prominent families who were held for ransom and later murdered. But it's very hard to say how many women have been killed in the country over the last year. Part of the concern is that not enough is done to investigate cases of women who have been murdered. If the police leadership is really committed to ending these killings and the spate of kidnappings, it's important that they unconditionally release them and listen to the petition and the concerns therein and see how we can work to end these crimes. Well, the women say that they will be holding a one million women's march in Kampala on June 30th. And we will continue to monitor the story. And if you are in Uganda, do get in touch with us. Send your thoughts or any of, any of the other information on this case. Tweet us. Use the hashtag AsianNewsGrid or me directly. I'm at Rahila Mohammed.